Walter Mignolo, he's probably the most influential decoloniality theorist, but he and his colleagues all acknowledge Anibal Quijano, Peruvian sociologist, as sort of the founding father of decoloniality theory. Quijano introduced the concept decoloniality, sorry, coloniality, or the coloniality of power, uh, which he meant to stand for, firstly, <coughs> pervasive belief in a biological division of the human species into, quote, races, and secondly, a worldwide division of labour founded on the hierarchy of supposed races, with compulsory forms of labour like slavery and peonage being reserved for persons of races, pervasively held to be inferior. Now, Quijano thought that the race hierarchy doctrine is empirically false, it's literally an invention having nothing to do with the biological structure of the human species. Um, what he put forward in his own voice is empirically true, was the doctrine that acceptance of that race hierarchy doctrine, or something very similar, is indispensable for the geographical division of labour, which in turn is indispensable for global capitalism. Uh, so in Quijano's view, the modern world system is constituted by an economic structure and a racialized social order, which are, as he puts it, structurally linked and mutually reinforcing. 